Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Mitch with Wilderness Games. Today, we're going to start a rebuild of an old Donkey Kong arcade cabinet. Stay tuned. So it was a DK. <clears throat> it's missing everything, basically. It has the power supply. Um, doesn't have anything. Any brackets. Nothing. No hardware. So. It needs a lot of love. Up here I have uh, the board set. That's good to go. And I have one harness right here. Power harness. I also have Sanyo monitor down there and the bezel it was on location at one point so got some odds and ends uh, needs a lot of work obviously needs a good rebuild and I recently picked up from Mike's Arcade, uh, just kind of some essentials to get started. So those three screws, the one right there, and it has, and look, that's for wood screws, right? And it has two <coughs> machined holes. Has the wood screws right there. It has two machine holes right there. Um, I just went to the hardware store, just went to Lowe's. I was there for over an hour working on this stuff, trying to figure out what fit and everything else um if you guys want to know it is it it was wasn't easy it's this it's 10 by 32 next order of business are these two carriage bolts in the back you hold up this L bracket that's of the bar going across okay so I have my L brackets in I've got my my monitor brace here my bar um, it's threaded to one quarter slash 20 one quarter slash 20 and so there's four of them on here the two outside are going to interface with the L brackets the two inside are going to interface with the monitor and so I've already gone ahead and done one of these ahead of time alright so now it's everything's tight but I have the ability to change the angle there's a monitor it's a Sanyo Easy 20 And Donkey Kong is vertical, so it's going to go in just like that. I believe with Nintendo cabs, you can put the monitor in the back. <clears throat> I think it's a Atari. I got a pole position right here. I think Atari wants you to put the monitor through the front, if I remember right. I think I think Nintendo's okay with doing it through the back. Um, my plan is there's two holes at the bottom of the monitor, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I need to rust them on this monitor rail, this brace down bottom, right there. That's going to hold weight, but in the back, I'm going to be on the underside of the crossbar. This bar right here. I'm going to be on the underside of it. So, you know, you'd think you'd put the monitor here at the bottom and then lean it back until it rusted on there. Uh, that's not how they have it set up at all. They actually have it set up so um, the monitor 
chassis is this way underneath it can just fall it just has to be attached which is just it seems crazy to me to do it that way but that's that's how it has to be done for everything to line up i'm like 99.9% .9 positive it has to be done that way i was already fiddling with it to see if there's any other way to do it so um i i still haven't put it in yet until this point so um yeah wish me luck huh there's the two holes that interface with the uh the crossbar crossbar will be on this side on this side and the bars uh, the holes rather in the chassis underneath right there yeah so I got all this stuff from my buddy Robbie so uh, it's cool to get a Donkey Kong machine from him um, because he's certainly the best that I know of at Donkey Kong Goodness. Nope, the tube's in the way if I do it like that. Hmm. Yeah. Half inch too big. To just put it on its... To lay it back and go right in. Half inch too big. Isn't that interesting? Uh, I want to leave this here. I don't want to have to... Be holding the monitor and installing that bar we'll figure it out all right I'm gonna go through the front all right it's on that shelf you can see it's against the, the bar right there so I need to put it underneath now I'm just a bit skittish because it's my first time you know dude that bar is in the way <laughs> like what the heck ah Oh man, you know, I'm not like faking it until you make it kind of thing right now. You know, something me and my buddies say where it's like someone who's never done something and they pretend like, oh, this is how it's done, you know, when they're on YouTube. Yep, so this is what you do, blah, 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 And they act like, you know, confident, like 100% dude. Oh yeah, do like that all the time guy. Um, you know, it's fake. And so, you know, they, they don't always know what they're doing. They usually don't. It's it's like a big pretending thing. So, you know, this is my first time doing this. This is legit, dude. This is genuine struggling. Uh, I just noticed something, though. That's cool. I'm going to pass on what I'm learning as I do it to you. And check this out. This is part of the chassis. I know it's darker on this side of the cab. Sorry. This is part of the chassis. Um, it's, it's literally solid. Part of the chassis. Uh, obviously protecting the tube and all that stuff. Um, I think, because I need to drop this down about an inch from where it sits right now for it to get underneath that bar right there. So right now it's laying on top of the bar. I need to drop it down to here and on the other side. I think what I'm going to do is take this bar out and I think that monitor is going to sit right there that last inch in the perfect spot basically ready to go and then I can just put this bar right on top of it and, and call it a day that's it maybe that's why this is here and this is like a a monitor resting shelf because I mean the ang it, it, you can't be denied the angle is perfect the height is perfect I'm gonna slowly lower it down see if I can anyways Oh, would you look at that, huh? Hmm, that's perfect. Roger that. Game on. You put the monitor in. The monitor in without the bar. And you lean it. On that shelf. Again, I've never seen anyone do this. Um, I've looked for, like, installing monitors and stuff. Um, I, I mean... I'm not infallible. I'm sure there's something somewhere, but I didn't find what I was looking for, so did my best. I figured I'd just figure it out as I go. Take that up. Right on. So I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put 
two, maybe I'll put two washes. Because uh, one side isn't touching the other side. So I have to go to the hardware store and get some bigger washers. I'll upgrade that. But I'll show you, I'll show you after what I mean. Yeah, see how it's not covering the whole gap? Just a portion of it. Solid. And it, it's off the wood. So it's holding it up. Okay, so next I'm going to do the lower marquee bracket. There's an upper as well, which I don't have. Because I don't have a marquee yet. So I don't, I don't need that. It's wasted expense for now. I am going to put the bottom one in though. Because it helps hold the bezel in place so it is important you have to pull it back a little bit not just all the way that way there's a gap for the for the marquee to fit okay next let's install a speaker surprise it's not like a grill or something right Stopping the speaker from being poked like some jerk of a kid coming over with a pen or something smashing it Rah. Right Hmm I'm gonna go look at my other Donkey Kong. Hold that thought. Yep. It's got a grill. Check this out. This is my other Donkey Kong Has a metal grill inside. Hmm. No metal grill here Well Guess I'll just have to Go with it for now. I'll have to get that later. It is what it is. Yeah, there's the four uh, mounting holes. Be very careful. I don't slip with the screwdriver and put a hole in the speaker. That'd be bad. Okay. Uh, it has two quick connects for the wiring, which I'll do later. I'm not working on wiring just yet. I have these two L brackets. So they go in the side wall over here. PCB hangs off of these. All right, this back wall is where it goes. I actually just, that's cool. I just found two brass screws already here. I almost dropped that one. That's cool, I'll take that. Why not? This little pencil mark um, was done at the factory. I can see the other two over there. Those are the original factory holes. Um, the exact same pencil mark is in my other Nintendo cabinet. Next up, is going to be changing the CPO, the control panel overlay, from DK Junior to DK. the rest of them with some Mr. 40. Oh yeah. Okay, there's the orange button out. I have the orange button right here. Robbie gave me that. Appreciate it, bro. Carry on. Carry on. came off and this whole thing's trying to take off on me from the spring it's actually a lot of 
There's a lot of oil in there. Wow, I'm surprised. Yep, we're through. Okay. Big moment, this. There it is. Greasy, dude. Right there. All right. Here we go. The moment no one's been waiting for. Gone. It's probably a good time to mention, I'm sure I'll mention it again at some point, that I do not want a perfect looking Donkey Kong for any cabinet that I own. I don't want them to look completely factory, fresh, new, you know, that's just not my thing, man. That's uh, it's like soulless to me, you know. I I want I want it to look scrappy. I want it to look rough. I want it to look used. I want it to look like a survivor, weathered. You know, have character. But I will clean to make it function better. You know, I'm not gonna make it dirty, you know, but I'm not gonna replace everything. Like, I, I could buy a brand new one of these and a brand new everything, you know, <laughs> pretty much. Um, yeah, I, I just don't wanna, I, I just don't wanna have like that new looking cabinet. It's just, it's not my thing. It's just, it's just it's not my thing. Does that make sense? You guys understand what I mean? Um, it's cool, like if, if that's your thing, you like factory fresh like it got built today, whatever dude, go crazy. Knock yourself out. Um, I just, I like scratches. I like when things look used. Um, I buy a lot of used stuff. Um, most of my gear, it's like my backpack. Almost all my books, stuff, it's all used. You know, my backpacks, tons of stuff. Just used stuff, you know. Um, this is from the 80s. I have another backpack in there from the 60s. I have another one from the 50s. Uh, I just like old stuff. I got a bunch of old used books over here on my, right there on my shelf. Boy Scout books, stuff like that. Like from the 20s even, you know. Um, I just dig it, man. I, I dig scrappy looking things. I hope my Donkey Kong, you know, looks more like it belongs in the Mos Eisley Cantina than, you know, Trump Plaza or something, you know, some casino that's like brand new, everything's sharp and golden and shiny and there's no tarnish anywhere. Everything is pristine. Like, no, nah, dude, no, that's not, that's not what I'm going for. And then once I'm done rebuilding this, I need to uh, wood glue and clamp the bottom. That'll be the last thing I do after everything else. I have to glue that wood back onto that veneer. Very nice. My goodness. That is beautiful. So I don't have the uh, instruction card yet. So it will just be blank for now. Because it's not necessary for it to play. And right now, I just want to get it working. I want to get it playing. And then I'll get all the stickers and the coin box, you know, the um, coin mechs and all that stuff. I don't, I don't need it, dude. Like, I, I want to play the game, not look at a game that doesn't play. <laughs> you know? 
Like that pretty much sums it up right there. I can't wait to direct the first barrel, you know? Make the barrels, you know, steer them. I can't wait to do it to the first one. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, I've been a big fan of Nintendo a long time. My whole life. <clears throat> I didn't play this game too much. The arcade, you know, Donkey Kong. Um, it was the first... I don't know if it was the first game I ever played. It was the first arcade I ever played, that's for sure. I remember, I remember um, playing Pong at my dad's friend's house. Back then, only parents had video games. Um, I remember playing Pong on the Atari. Um, but, uh... Anyways, I remember playing Donkey Kong, though. My first arcade cabinet. I was, I think... I think I was three. And... Uh, I was at an auction house, it was being auctioned, and I was there to get, like, walkie-talkies or something. I ended up getting walkie-talkies with my grandfather and my dad. And it's funny, I still remember where I was standing. I still, you know what I mean? Like, I remember everything about it. And I remember, uh, I just have, I just had to keep pressing the first player button to play again. So, I, obviously, it was set on free play. I know that now, but I didn't know that then. I, didn't, I, did, I thought I was doing, like, a... Like I was getting away with something, be on the play again, but um, I I couldn't even like I was like, so young. Uh, again, I think I'm three, maybe four, and I could barely see the screen. I bet I didn't even get up the first ladder. I really don't think I did. Um, but I played for hours. Like I just stood there. I was so bored. The auction was like. It was awful. It was just <laughs> hours and hours. At least to my four-year-old self. Uh, we were just there forever. But that guy talking on the... It was just like, dude, oh my god. Oh, it was bad. And, um... I could see, like, my dad and my grandfather. And my dad kept them looking back, checking on me. And I just, I just played Donkey Kong the whole day. You know, I, I wasn't good enough to do anything, but. And my dad ended up getting me, um, actually I have it right over there. I'll show you guys. You guys want to see something cool? I ended up getting, uh, my dad gave me this later on that year. My first video game. Let me show you guys something cool. A little ad hoc. Look at that. I'll pull it up. This is a Donkey Kong Jr. tabletop. I've had this my whole life. It runs, that gets light from the sun or from um, a light bulb. Has a screen down there, has a mirror, and the actual screen is up top. It's wild. It's it's the coolest thing ever. And uh, I play this thing for so many hours. It's it's just incredible. Yeah, man. Got my name on it and stuff, stickers from when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, right? How cool is that? This thing, man, I'm telling you. Loads of fun. I got really good at it, too. I just remember it eventually didn't get fun anymore because I couldn't lose. I think by doing that, it planted seeds. That's pretty cool. Um, some of my friends are like that. It's just how we are. So, uh, I don't know. It's just sometimes... Sometimes things like getting a video game when you're young just kind of like changes you forever. Yeah. Sorry I didn't give you all these close-ups, huh? I kind of did a bad job. 
So I'll show you. I'll show you some stuff. Show you the stuff. Okay, so here's the joystick, and there's a little. See a little circle in there. So you have to line that up first, and then put that through it. Spring next. And I need this tube. And on the joystick knob itself, there is a little groove. Yep, there it is. It's a little groove underneath this pattern. There's a little groove right there. Oh, there we go. Pliers for the win. Fall away joystick. Carry on. What do they call these pal nuts? What's up there, pal nuts? <laughs> it works. Okay, button number two. Now the ring. Now I'll put the switch in. Should go like this. Assuming I can get it back on. Without oh yes, now it's broken in. That's good. Good, good. Now I can tighten it up. Top one and then the top middle. All right, awesome. So I just realized I forgot to put these on. So I'm gonna take this apart again. <laughs> ah, brutal. So I have to lay this down. Wind up. That goes over that like that. Nice. Ooh, that's nice and tight too. That made a big difference. Wow. There's like no wiggle in there now. Wow. Interesting. There it is. Alrighty. Now this thing just needs some wood glue. This piece that came from this spot. 
just veneer it's not that big of a deal but um, it's important you know things screw to this like I don't, it's just gonna get worse so it's all it's all coming up okay time to clamp it I just have just a piece of wood whatever it's for like an easel or something that I usually used to teach when I'm in the when I'm in the woods I just lay it down I'm gonna wipe the excess off put it right on there clamp the sucker good and strong. I gotta clamp the other side. That's padding. Some of the overflow liquid. It's good. I'll wipe that. Nice and tight. Next up is the bezel. Here's the bracket that goes in the bottom. I don't know if it fits or not. It came off of the Donkey Kong Jr. Sometimes they're weird like that. fit it's just uh, it's a little loose actually okay um grab maybe not channel rocks let me just squeeze the bottom a little bit If I can. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I made it a little, a little smaller. Nice. Nice snug fit. But it's not. It's not crazy. I can pull it off. Pull it off if I want. Not overly tight. All right. This thing's got some scratches and damages to it. It was on location, you know. It's whatever. Um, I need to put two pieces of wood in here. They're like half an inch by half an inch by maybe four inches. Um, and that's stapled. I'm gonna use wood, sc uh, wood screws on the inside, and that kind of pins it. Uh, I don't feel like making those right now. It's like three in the morning, <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can just put this in without that, because that is kind of a it's kind of a pain. Yes. Now I need to tighten it from the back. And that goes all the way to the front. So now it can't be pushed back because I just tightened it. So if a kid pushes on it, you know, it's not going to have that give, that wiggle. Shouldn't anyways. Yeah, see? Now we're getting somewhere. Nice. Okay, so eventually I'll get a marquee. It's so far down on the list, you know? I want to get it to play. I don't care how it looks right now. Okay, so I have the monitor in there. I have a speaker in there. Uh, my control panel is all populated. And it's been you know repaired and worked on and right now it's the glue is is drying to fix the wood i uh, changed the art so it's donkey kong so tomorrow once that dries i'm going to flip that over plop that in there that's going to look sharp i'll just be missing the marquee for the 
three pieces of art in the front. And then after that, um, I think we're, we're at the point of doing the harnesses. Okay, it's been Mitch, Wilderness Games. Thanks for joining me on this Donkey Kong build. Uh, pretty good for, you know, the first night. Threw, threw a couple hours into it, and uh, I think we did pretty good. Changed a lot, you know, updated a lot. I mean, it didn't have a speaker or anything. <laughs> this thing, this thing was a shell. It was a, it was a, it was a carcass. Not anymore. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully we can uh, get a little further. Keep going. Take care.